Where are we at now? We are now at three gallons. No, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> three liters. Yes. Hi guys. Welcome, 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 welcome back to another episode of Shower in the Kitchen. Um, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much for being a loyal um, supporter and for always watching the videos. Remember to give this video a thumbs up, share it, and leave a comment below, okay? So before I get started, I just want to let you guys know that I've already done this detox before, but it was for a different purpose. So the instructions that I will give um, will be a little bit different just because I'm doing it for a different purpose this time. Cool? All right. So the first time I did the detox, it was geared towards me losing weight. But now I'm at my desired weight target, so I will be incorporating meals with this cleanse. Got it? So what's different this time is that I'll be using um, a juicer instead of a blender. So the first time I did this cleanse, um, I used the blender and it made the process a little bit more tedious because I didn't like the pulp, so I tried straining it, but even with straining it, it didn't get out all the pulp and it just made the process a whole lot longer because then you have to strain it, you have to add water, whatever. it was just, it just took too long. And I've had this juice stuff for like one and a half years and I barely use it, so I decided to use it today. The first time when I did, and this is one of the benefits of using the blender though, it's good to have the pulp, especially if you're not eating anything else because the pulp is good for fiber. But seeing that I'll be eating meals while I'm doing this cleanse, I'll just add more foods that are richer in fiber because I'll be mostly juicing. Does that make sense? The juicer that I have is the Omega juicer and I have the ingredients here as well which I will tell you what they are now. Yeah, it's a lot of kale. I'm not sure what the yield is gonna be like but I'll just, if it's not a good yield, I'll just stretch it with water so it lasts for more than just one serving. So I have my fresh kale, I have my celery, I'm using this entire bunch of celery. Um, I have my cucumber or cucumber, however you pronounce it. I'm going with three this time instead of two, just because I'm juicing it, so probably the yeast is not gonna be as much. And then I have my two lemons, which I'll be adding to the cleanse. I have my ginger. You guys probably know this by now, I've said it multiple times. I love ginger, I love the taste. I, I love it when it hit the back of my throat. It's just nice, I just love the flavor of ginger. Just give me ginger anything and I am great. So this is how much ginger I'll be using. Depending on your preference, you can use the ginger sparingly or you can use a lot more, depending on how, how, how if you can tolerate it. And then I'll be using green apples to sweeten, okay? I have this entire thing of baby spinach. So I have kale, spinach, celery, cucumber, cucumber, ginger, lemon, and green apples to sweeten so the taste is a bit more pleasant. So first things first. <clears throat> so it's on. And you can adjust the, the speed. Not necessarily the speed, but the power of it. So 
that's the kale. The kale has been transferred. And I'm now gonna juice the celery and see how much it will increase. I don't think it's gonna increase by that much. So let's see. So far I'm actually pleased with the juicer. I really am. Because at least I know that everything that I'm getting is packed with nutrients. All the juice that I have is packed with nutrients and it's not diluted with the water. So I'm actually very pleased with that. And the cleanup is so much easier than having to use a blender and a strainer. I actually bought this directly from the Omega website. At the time it was like $400. I'm not sure what the, what the price is right now, but like a year and a half ago, it was like $400. And it's worth everything. Now I'm gonna add the cucumber, cucumber. So because it's kind of flaccid, when I cut it in half, it's a little bit harder to grind. Oh, I'm back. The apples are chopped and the cucumber is finished being juiced and this is the yield that I got from three cucumbers or cucumbers, cucumba, however you pronounce it. This is the yield from all three of them. So I'm actually getting a good yield. I didn't think I would get so much juice so far, but so far so good. We're like halfway there. This is one. We're now at two liters. This is a four liter. Hey, when I use the <laughs> sorry, I'm not full of excitement. When I use the blender, and I had to add water and blend it. With the water added, I got one gallon. I think it was one gallon I got. This is half gallon, and I still have some ingredients to go. I have to add the spinach, the apples, the ginger, and the lime. So I'm gonna see if the juicer will get me that yield. If it does, that would be amazing. Cause I was kind of worried that I would spend money and I wouldn't get as much out of it in terms of like quantity. I know the quality is good because you know, it's not diluted with water. But I was kind of worried that the quantity wouldn't be that good and I'll probably get like a one serving. But little did I know. So this is the spinach. I'm gonna use all of this. One thing when I like about a juicer here, just one thing, the whole too small. That's what he said. I'm sorry. I couldn't make that pass. Call me my pasta. But yeah, the whole too small, so you have to fight to push everything in. That's what he said. And this is the yield we have from the spinach. This has been the lowest yielding. Um vegetable or ingredient I've used so far, the spinach. So that entire content, well you guys know the so spinach naturally shrink. It's just fluffy, but when you process it, it actually shrink. So this is all I got from it. And this is the, I use a big package. So probably if you want a lot, if you like spinach taste, you should add two, probably two of these would fill this. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and transfer the spinach. Now look how my, drink, my green juice has come off. Now this is at how much heat are these? So much less. Two and a half. Two and a half liters. We're at two and a half liters. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not lying. I'm very impressed with the yield so far. Very, 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 very impressed with the yield. Okay, so now I'm gonna add the apples. Now I use, how much apple? I think I bought nine apples to get eaten. So now I'm using seven. I counted them when I was cutting them up. So these are seven green apples. 
Let's see the yield I'll get from the green apples. Minus a wedge. Seven. Seven apples minus one wedge. All right, we're back. And this is the yield that we have for the seven apples minus one wedge. This is the yield, almost full. It is now at two and a half liters. Let's see now. We're gonna add the, add. the aim is to get this full. I did not have this expectation before, but now that I'm using the juicer and I'm seeing the yield that I'm getting, I have high expectations that I can get one gallon out of my um, juicer and all the ingredients that I have. So fingers crossed guys, I want you guys to send some positive energy. We're hoping that this gets us to one gallon so I can have this to last me for a few days. Let's see where we are. Look at God. Look at God. When God loves you, you know, may I tell you, when God loves you, where are we at now? We are now at three gallons. No, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> three liters. Yeah. So if I eat, if I drink this in the morning and drink another glass with my meals, I'm just gonna say with dinner, I think this should last me for five days. Yeah, I think this should last me for five days. So the next thing I'm going to do is put in the ginger. So the ginger obviously would not have expected no major yield from the ginger. I don't think we're going to get to the one gallon because the only ingredients we have after this is the lime, well the lemon. And I'm literally just going to squeeze that directly in. Okay guys, so I'm back. Um, I have the finished product here. I had it refrigerated for like 30 to 40 minutes just because I think it tastes better than when it's room temperature. Already, just by looking at it, I can see that the it has a deeper green, like it looks richer than when I um when I use the blender because obviously when I use the blender, as I said before, I had to dilute it with water. But just by looking at it, you can see that the it has a deep green, like you can tell that all the chlorophyll is locked in. And now I'm going to do the taste test. That's actually good. That's actually really, really good. You know, you have some stuff that you know it's good for you, but you have to throw it back because it tastes so unpleasant. That actually tastes good. Like I'm getting all the flavors without it being diluted with the water. I'm getting all the flavors of the vegetables, the ginger, the lemon i'm getting the apples like it's really good it's really refreshing i'd give this a 10 out of 10. there is nothing that's overpowering like everything complements each other and it tastes really good i definitely recommend this like you can actually have this with a meal yeah if this is a recipe that you've done before and you have any kind of variations please go ahead and drop it in the comments below because i'm always looking for different ways to enjoy my vegetables so if you have any kind of variation let me know and i'll definitely try it if you have any questions if you enjoy this video if you made it this far to the video first of all thank you so much for watching um if you enjoyed it if you have anything to add that you would do differently if there's anything that you substitute if there's any of these vegetables that you don't like leave a comment and let me know but thank you guys so much for watching give this video a thumbs up leave a comment remember to share and if you haven't subscribed yet and you're at this point in the video might as well you just subscribe okay thank you so much well good i'll be sipping on my green juice for like the next five days this is good this is bomb <laughs>